Good evening, everybody. As you can tell, I'm not at home. I'm actually at Walt Disney World right now. I'm on a vacation, a much needed vacation. Uh, it's been a blast here. Tonight is my last night here, and then I fly back home. Uh, I was gonna wait to do this video when I got home, uh, but however, I'm too excited. I'm very, very excited to talk about Star Wars and the massive bomb they have dropped on us. 10 new titles, some of which are movies, some of which are television shows. We're getting Kenobi, Cassian Andor spinoff, and Ahsoka Tano spinoff, Rogue Squadron. We're getting Mandalorian season three next Christmas. We're getting so many cool things within the Star Wars universe. Lando is getting his own show. So much stuff. There's a story, uh, I believe it's called The Acolytes, 200 years before episode one. This is just amazing. Lucasfilm, I think now kind of sees where they went wrong. And now they're taking the, uh, the Marvel approach, an MCU approach, just tying in so many cool stories all together and wrapping it up in a nice little bow. I think they saw the error of their ways with the sequel trilogy. Now, mind you, I love the sequel trilogy. I'm a fan of them. Even though I know it's very divisive and a lot of people didn't like The Last Jedi and didn't like The Rise of Skywalker, but in my personal opinion, I thought the movies were just fine. But with this, with all of these new titles, with all of these stories, there's going to be so much more. And that's what Star Wars needs. We don't need more of the same. We just need more. We need more from the past. We need more things to tie things together. The Clone Wars is a prime example of Star Wars done right. The Mandalorian is Star Wars done right. There are so many things that Lucasfilm should have done in the past, but now they're gonna do it now. And I think now they have a map. They have a map of what needs to be done. They have someone overseeing this whole operation and they're gonna get it right. They have their own Kevin Feige. And I'm not sure if Kathleen Kennedy is still the head of Lucasfilm right now. I'm not sure if George Lucas is, you know, uh, hired on to, to do any of this stuff. I'm not sure of that stuff yet. I haven't seen anything, I haven't read anything. It's all rumors that maybe George Lucas is gonna come back and that Kathleen Kennedy is not part of Lucasfilm anymore. If anybody knows what's real, like what's confirmed or not, please let me know in the comments what is real and what's not. You know, sources nowadays, you never know who's credible and who's not, so I'm not exactly sure. I just read what I read and I hope that whatever it is, is true. What we're getting now is, I think I can speak for the Star Wars fandom. It's what we've always wanted, I think. Because as much as we love the, the, the story of the Skywalkers, what else do we have? We don't really have much other than the Mandalorian. And the Mandalorian is not anything having to do with the Skywalkers. We're getting so much more new things now that now we can grasp onto something else. And I think that's what we've been wanting this entire time. At least I know that's what I've been wanting this entire time. Again, I love the sequel trilogy. I love that the Skywalker saga is what it is, but I wanted to see more. That's why I like Rogue One a lot is because while it's within the Skywalker saga, it's different. It has nothing to do with Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker, anything. It has nothing to do with it. It had to do with stealing the Death Star plans. And with Solo, we got to see how, you know, he came to be who he was. I just think that this is something that we've been wanting for a while, and now we're finally getting it. I am beyond excited. I'm trying to contain it right now because it's a little bit late at night and there's people above me and below me in the next rooms over at the hotel I'm staying at. So I'm trying to trying to keep my excitement down so that I don't wake people up. But I think the Star Wars fandom can rest easy now. Honestly, I think they can. I think, you know, we all we also know that Taika Waititi is doing his own film. And I think that's gonna be wonderful too. You know, I think I think what we have now in the Star Wars fandom is a sigh of relief that like, okay, we're not just gonna be getting the same shit over and over again. We're gonna be getting new things now. And I think that that is wonderful. And I think we're going to be seeing the fandom coming together again, instead of just being total assholes to each other. 
and I can't wait to see what Star Wars has in the future for us. I've always been excited for new Star Wars content, even if it's within the Skywalker saga. I won't care. I'm just, I'm just happy we're getting something. And the fact that these titles are what they are, I just, I'm, I don't have the right words right now. I'm just, I'm just so excited and I cannot wait to see what happens. Lucasfilm, thank you so much for today. You really, you really know how to put a smile on my face. I would love to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below, what you're looking forward to most from this drop of all of these titles. I don't really know what else to say, guys. This is gonna be a great next couple of years when it comes to Star Wars. So may the force be with you all and have a happy holiday.